Hi everyone, welcome to the best of CAT series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question in geometry. Slightly difficult question, not as easy as maybe the uh, earlier ones. Here they are telling us point E, F, G, H lie on sides A, B, B, C, C, D and D A respectively of a square A, B, C, D. Okay, so we have a square A, B, C, D and on each of these sides we have E, F, G, H. So that's your square, all angles are 90. E, F, G, H are somewhere over here and they have told us something very important. E, F, G, H is also a square. So we get that. Now, again one important thing was told to us that the area of the square E, F, G, H is 62.5% of that of A, B, C, D. So whatever was the area of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is 62.5% of that. And they have told us C, G is longer than B, E. And that is what I have denoted in the diagram also. C, G is clearly longer than B, E. Now, I hope you understand some things that in this diagram for E, F, G, H to become a square, this E, B will have to be equal to F, C, will have to be equal to C, D, will have to become equal to A, H. And similarly, B, F will be, have to become equal to C, G, equal to H, D, equal to A, right? That is very, very important. Once you get that, let's try and see what we would have done for this question. Now, they have asked us the ratio of the length E, B to C, G. E, B to C, G. So, answer obviously has to be less than 1. E, B is the smaller side. Now, what I did was I decided to start the question with a value. So, I said let the side A, B be 8. Why did I take 8? Because 62.5% is 5 by 8, right? So, because of that I took A, B as 8. So, area of the square A, B, C, D became 64 side square and therefore area of the square E, F, G, H became 40. So, the side of any one side, if I have to take say E, F, I had to think of. So, E, F would become root 40. Do not solve it further, just leave it. You could have even left it at 40, would have been okay. So, E, F is root 40. If I take E, B as X, then A, E will be 8 minus X and this will also be 8 minus X. Right? I just explained that earlier to you. Now, the total area was 64 out of which this area was 40, which means the four small triangles which we have, their areas will be 24, area will be, and which means area of each triangle will be 6. All triangles have same sides, x and 8 minus x. So, half into base into height would be equal to 6. You could have multiplied by 4 and then said is equal to 24 would not matter. 4 ones are 4 6. Are. Right? So, we got that. Half into x into 8 minus x is equal to 6. So, we have got x square minus 8x. 6 2s are 12. Bring on the other side so becomes plus 12 is equal to 0. We have got x square minus 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. Solve the quadratic equation x is 6 or 2. Now, from the diagram, x cannot be 6 because they told us B, E is larger than C, C, G. Therefore, x will be 2 only definitely and therefore, 8 minus x will be 6. So, x is 2, 8 minus x is 6. We want to find the ratio. Answer will be 2 is to 6, which is 1 is to 3, which is the fourth option. So, taking values over here made the question very easy. And there were other ways also to look at this question, but I thought this was one of the easier ways to look at the question. As usual, please do not forget to solve the replica question and give your answers in the comment box.